Okay, I've been talking about creating launchers on Linux desktops that launch web applications or websites as if they're native applications. And although I haven't used Windows regularly since 2006, uh, I do try to keep up on Windows things. And the only really Windows machines I have access to are at work, which are running Windows 7, which are way out of date. And uh, yes, uh, our IT department should all be fired for allowing these machines to be continued to be used like that. But I'm gonna show you a quick way to create a icon on your desktop that will launch a website as if it was a native application, looking like a native application with the uh, proper border and toolbar. And uh, yeah, so this will work on Windows 7, uh, probably I think Vista through 7. Uh, I don't know about newer versions because I think the way it, it's going to end up be used is with Internet Explorer. And uh, I don't think newer versions of Windows have Internet Explorer. I don't even know. But let's go ahead and just have a look at this. I've recorded this and I'm just going to do a voiceover now on what I previously recorded. So. Yeah, so you can right click on the desktop, you can say new, and you can create a shortcut. And in that, you can just type in the URL for a website or a web application, HTTPS, filmsbychris.com, give it a name, click finish, and it will create a browser link that opens it up. But we don't want this. We don't want it to just open up in the browser. So forget about that. What we're going to use is a program called MS. H A T. Now, what is M S H A T? What is H A T? H A T is basically a HTML application uh, for Windows. Uh, so on Windows, they kind of tried for a while. I think it's kind of been abandoned. You can create these files instead of HTML files. You create HAT files, which basically contain HTML, but can interact with the system as if they're an application. And when you click on them, they're actually being run by this program, M S H A T. So if we go to our shell and we just type in MSHAT and give it a URL, it will open up that URL kind of like a native app, right? It doesn't have the toolbar and stuff at the top with the address bar. So what you can do is go back to your desktop, right click, say new, uh, do a shortcut, and this time type in MSHAT and the URL for the application, the website that you want to run. Click next, give it a name, I'll just do FBK, and there we go. We click on that and it runs it as if it's a native app, at least in that style. The icon default is just an extra icon, but you can right click it, say change icon, and then you can browse through through different applications and probably DLL files and and icon files. Pick an icon. I'm just going to pick one at random here. It's a little uh, like, like server and keys or something like that. Something with lock and keys. Just just to show you that you can change it. Click OK, and now you have a link file for Windows, which is an ugly binary file, but on Windows machines it will work. And again, I don't know. I don't think this will work on things XP and before. Haven't tested it. Uh, but and I don't know about newer versions of Windows. I I have only tested this on Windows 7. But I would think Vista 7, maybe Windows 8, that was a thing, right? There was no 9 and 10. Uh, but I think on Windows 11, right, they don't have Internet Explorer. And I'm pretty sure that HTA files, at least in the past, have used Internet Explorer as a back end for that. So uh, if anyone has a newer Windows machine and want to give, wants to give this a try for me, let me know if it works. But I just thought I'd give you this little tip uh, in case you wanted to create a link to a website but make it look like a native application. Thanks for watching. I don't normally do Windows videos, uh, but if you enjoyed this and you're interested in free and open source tutorials, that's what I normally do. Filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. Check it out. You can also check out my Patreon page down there if you'd like to support me. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.